Hi Pisces, welcome back. I hope you guys are doing well today. This is going to be for anybody with Pisces placements in their charts. Make sure you all flip and you switch the roles. Excuse me, take what resonates, leave what doesn't fit for your situation, guys. Thank you all so much for your love, your support, your donations, and um, your super chats, your super thanks. The love never goes unnoticed, and I am returning that back to y'all tenfold. Okay, anything you guys need to know about me is going to be down below in the description box. And please be aware of the fake pages that are on here and on any other social media platforms, okay? So let's see spirits. I mean, let's see Pisces. <laughs> What's going on with y'all? Okay, spirit guides, angels, ancestors, ascended masters, guys and goddesses. Please return any spell work, any dark magic that is sent to harm Pisces and their loved ones. Me and my loved ones are turning back to the sender. Block any um, interferences that could be stopping the messages from coming through. Clear, concise, and precise messages for my Pisceans. And protect me as I channel the messages for Pisces. Okay. So let's see. What's going on for Pisces spirit? So we have a soulmate. Divine soul connection. Okay. Revengeful, forcing justice. Mm, could be dealing with a Libra. Okay, what else? A fire sign, Aries Leo Sag. We got blocked on social media. Jumping to conclusions in the reverse. Psycho in the reverse. <laughs> mm. So, mm, what else? materialistic bottom of the deck is tolerating abuse here no love given or received someone you know sex addiction have truths mm. so i feel like um you could be some of you guys could be private in your social medias but you could have definitely blocked someone here you block somebody on your social media or out your phone or you just block their ass in general out your energy out your life period because you know that they're materialistic they're a user and they don't want you around for no other reason okay i feel like you're not doubting something anymore we're jumping to conclusions in the reverse i feel like you're not i feel like there's something that you already know about like you're sure about something it feels like you're really sure about something here so you could be getting rid of a psycho here or you're just not scared of somebody's psycho ass somebody's saying that they're psycho but it's like you're really not that crazy for real like get out of my way <laughs> get out of our face like give me energy like you don't care really um or somebody's act somebody's psychotic actions towards you are blocked okay you could be also realizing whoever this is that's your divine soulmate this person like you i just feel like you're tired of crazy ass people you know what i'm saying like you you you're hoping and praying that your divine soulmate is not toxic like that i feel like they're not but let's see one more shuffle The King of Souls reverse, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Yeah, Page of Pentacles. So let's see. What's soulmate here? Okay. Uh, the Empress in the reverse. Mm -mm. So Taurus, Libra energy. So the Empress in the reverse, this could talk about a lack of self-care, self-love here. Um... This could be somebody that's insecure, though. Somebody's like very insecure, very um, needy. Whoever this is is needy. They're clingy. They don't, you know, they just not doing what they supposed to be doing. They can't create anything. This is like a lack of growth. You could be experiencing a lack of growth somewhere because you're not doing some sort of shadow work for some of you. Okay. But the Empress in the Reverse would also talk about an unwanted or a unplanned pregnancy. Two, what's the soulmate here with the Empress Reverse? Okay, the Four of Swords, Libra Jupiter, what's, what else? And the Page of Cups. Okay, yeah, something about a baby, the devil, Three of Cups Reverse. So 
So for some of you, there could be a creative project or a creative skill here that you're needing to tap into is what I'm getting. Okay, you could be sleeping on yourself when it comes down to something that you're needing to do here. You need to listen to your inner voice about something. Something could be coming up in your dream state. Some of y'all could be having dreams about children. And it could be because you're pregnant. It's unplanned, so you don't know. Maybe you don't know now or whatever, <laughs> right? But um, the four of swords and the four of swords talks about resting, um, healing, peace, and solitude. Some of you guys need to get more rest, or you need to spend time in nature here. You're not spending enough time in nature. I'm getting with the Empress in the reverse. Um Somebody could also be trying to somebody is trying to trigger a weak spot within you. Like it's maybe you have a weak spot for somebody. They're trying to like really penetrate that or something here about your inner child. Page of Cups. This could be something about your inner child here that somebody is trying to to play around with to see how they can get back in good with you, I guess. But I'm really getting here. Somebody could be tired or drained or sleeping like at weird times throughout the day because they're pregnant page because it's definitely the birth of a child somebody here could be resting because they just had a baby but i feel like it's something toxic about this person yeah the three of cups in the reverse this person here cheated this keep coming out somebody's a cheater they're a cheater So the person that for some of you, the person that you thought was a divine soul connection is not. They this person here doing karmic shit. It's like they running around. What's this page of cups? The five of wands, yeah. So somebody is really in competition because you admire somebody. There's somebody here that you admire or you really want to propose to or, or be with or whatever. Somebody here is playing innocent to your face, though. They're a user. Knight of Pentacles in the reverse. Somebody here is a user. Very superficial. Okay. Somebody is trying to stop you from offering someone something. Wow. Leo Saturn with the five of wands. So... So someone is in competition here with somebody that you admire. This could actually be your divine partner that you do have a soul bond with. But somebody is pretending that that's, that's who they are to you and they're not. What's the page of cups with the five of wands? Yeah, the page of swords in the reverse. Yeah, this could be like misinformation or um, a lot of gossiping. Somebody here is gossiping about somebody lying. Okay, I feel like somebody here is being like fighting. There's fights and shit about children too. Okay, somebody is just like really. <laughs> somebody got a problem. But I feel like you ain't got shit to say to somebody. Like you're done talking to somebody. You're going no contact with their stupid ass because they're a liar. Somebody here's a liar. Okay, this page of souls in the reverse could talk about too. Paranoia, anxiety. Um, somebody here that's a player, they play a lot of mind games, very malicious, gossiping ass person. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius could be, could have Libra and they charge strong. For some of you guys, you could feel scatterbrain about something, or there's something that you're missing. There's something that some sort of a piece of information that you're not getting. Okay. But it's something that you're needing to tap into. Like this is if this is not about a pregnancy. Somebody is like somebody is like, I don't know if they're sending you negative energy or what this is, but whatever this is is supposed to push you into something that you're needing to do. Okay, because you could be experiencing a lack of growth somewhere. And it could it really could not be anything that you are not or you are doing. It could be somebody really is trying to compete with you. But I feel like that's just like this person, whoever this is, is doing this shit to you. If they are doing something to you, they're a catalyst for your spiritual growth. 
some of you guys do need to get grounded though right now right now would be a really good time to get grounded or you need to go on a vacation or something like that you have been working too much yeah will of fortune in the reverse and the two of cups reverse so unwanted changes here um bad luck bad karma two of cups in the reverse hmm, what's the four of swords or things de being delayed yeah the eight of cups so that's walking away here and seeing the bigger picture in a situation somebody sees the bigger picture in something that could be you pisces somebody could have a pisces saturn someone definitely needs a vacation they need to travel or do something like that somebody needs to get outside <laughs> get grounded like maybe just get more rest this is like solitude just peace okay that somebody needs time alone i feel like you'll be able to hear your inner voice better if you do this because there could be conflict here that's causing you to feel scatterbrained. I feel like you need to get grounded. Grounding is really important right now. It's going to help you. For some of you, you're having a root chakra issues. You need to go outside. Okay. Like, for sure. So, let's see. What's revengeful here? Knight of Souls reverse. Yeah, somebody, somebody is being really... They're being a bully. This could even be like somebody that got a criminal background and shit like that. But I feel like this person, they're just trying to scare you or whatever this is. But don't take it lightly, though, now. Don't take it lightly. But I'm just saying. Y'all know who crazy and who not. But the Knight of Swords in the reverse is definitely uh, somebody here that's a bully or very, very vicious, dangerous energy. Okay, somebody here that's a follower. They make really hasty decisions. Very impulsive person. Um... Somebody here missed an opportunity or somebody feels like something is like you. You are probably way out of their league or something is out of their depth. Okay. It's like, let's see what else. What's revengeful with the matter still is reverse. Okay. Three of wands. Yeah. I feel like I'm, I'm hearing the energy like you're too far gone, but somebody is attacking your growth though. Three of wands. Like somebody is attacking your growth, but they, de they definitely missed an opportunity with you though. Whoever this is, this Knight of Swords in the reverse, this damn, I guess this fucking bully or this criminal or whoever they call themselves. Okay. What's the Knight of Swords reverse three of wands? Yeah, four of wands reversed. Mm. Aries, Venus, we got Aries Sun here. So I feel like, too, you're going with the flow of things. You're not retaliating or being nasty to somebody. You're just blocking their ass and you're moving on because you know somebody's just mad at you right now. They're mad because you left their ass or you did something. They're really fucking mad, I feel like. And I feel like you don't fucking care <laughs> either. Like, this would be a whole community. But I feel like, yeah, this is you. Some of you guys with the four ones reversing the three ones, you could definitely be moving, okay? You, um... Could have jilted a community or jilted a home here like you just all of a sudden just up and left and now you're looking towards your future with the three of wands i feel like you have a vision for the future you know what you want to do but for some of you you could be feeling like something is out of your league or it's just like maybe somebody is like too far or you have to make a big transition or a big move here but they, the four of wands in the reverse is a lack of stability this is like instability here somebody feels insecure because they don't have any kind of stability security Okay, that could be an issue too. Somebody somebody is homeless right now. Somebody don't have a home because of what they left. They, somebody could have been living with somebody. You could have been living with somebody, but you found out they cheated and they pregnant by somebody else. I keep getting that. It's coming out in the collective a lot. Um... or something you're leaving something because i just feel like you don't fit in with the community no more so you're not going to stay there and so somebody's attacking you because of this because you don't want to stay in something or be with somebody 
or whatever the fuck. Yeah, justice. They gonna get karma for that. But I mean, cause they ain't got no right to be attacking you. But let me see. What's the four of wands reversed? This could be like a divorce, a dysfunctional family dynamic, a dysfunctional home. What's four so four of wands reversed? Yeah, the Knight of Cups. Yeah. Magician reverse. So I feel like someone wants to offer you something with this Knight of Cups. Definitely Aquarius, Pisces, Cusper. Somebody's genuine about an offer because that's what it feel like. They're genuine about this offer, but there's a lack of stability or trust feel like right now, somebody's root chakra is really blocked. They don't feel safe. So if, if you guys have a garden, some of you guys could be needing to garden. Garden definitely brings, gardening brings in a lot of money, okay? I feel like, I think if you plant a, something specific, I forgot. Um, somebody could be feeling fatigued, like insecure. Mm. Grounding is important. So like that's all I'm gonna say. Somebody need to get outside, hug a tree, walk in the grass with your feet bare, or on the concrete with your feet bare. Whatever. Somebody needs to get really grounded. What's the four of wands reverse Knight of Cups? Yeah, the Tower reversed. Aries, Scorpio. This tower is happening for a reason. Somebody is being guided somewhere. They need to like really do it or you need to do it. Whatever this is that you're needing to do, there could be an offer coming in that you're needing to accept, but because you don't feel comfortable with accepting it or because it's like, you feel like something is, somebody here needs help, but their ego is in a way, is what I'm getting, okay? The tower in the reverse is definitely an inevitable tower, though. Something is definitely falling apart. It was inev inevitably supposed to be coming out in order for you to do something else, okay? You're needing to follow your heart, or somebody need to follow their heart when it comes down to something. Yeah. Somebody's having a battle between head and heart. Their head and their heart is... Mm. Mm. Yeah, somebody made a bad investment. Yeah, in a fake-ass family dynamic or... Somebody lost a lot of money making an investment here with something that wasn't real. Mm. What's the three of wands? Yeah, the Nine of Cups. Yeah, what's the Three of Wands, Nine of Cups? Yep, the Magician reversed. So a lack of mental clarity. A lack of mental clarity or like a trickster. Somebody here, the Magician reversed Nine of Cups. First of all, Nine of Cups and re Nine of Cups upright is a pregnancy announcement or an engagement announcement. Somebody was trying to do magic or is currently trying to do magic to get them to stay stuck with them or to get them pregnant or to do something crazy like that. <laughs> like somebody is like really crazy. This was the wrong contract to invest in. That's what this shit is. Somebody here just sought revenge. They they wanted to be revengeful, spiteful, nasty. So that's what the fuck they did to somebody. But I'm getting... The magician in the reverse is somebody that doesn't have all the tools here to manifest. Beside it being magic, okay, somebody could be doing magic. Somebody feels like they don't have the tools that they need to manifest, okay? I feel like it's here with you. The nine of cups and the damn, the, the three of wands, you are where the growth is. I feel like this is a feminine energy or this could be you as a man, whatever, in this nine of cups energy. That's abundance, prosperity. Abundance, prosperity, um... 
This could be fame, accol accolades, recognition. Okay. But it's like it's like somebody is not seeing that they should be coming towards you or something like that. It, this feels like a divine partnership. Yeah, this is a divine connection here that's coming through. But this tower is happening to a knight of cups. It's this masculine. This tower is happening to them. They're they're hitting rock bottom in order to really awaken to see something here about you. They they need you. That's what I'm getting. Like somebody really needs your help or they need you. But with the Knight of Swords reversed, they're not taking action or they feel like, you know, they will be a burden or something like that. But th this feels like a real divine connection. So if that, that's not the case and you're like, yeah, they will be a burden, then that's a karmic and you don't need to take them back. But I'm really feeling like somebody need, genuinely needs your help, but they they got to get out their ego, though. They got to stop being prideful and ask for the help that they need or trust. This person is having trust issues. Their root chakra is blocked. What's the blocked on social media? And somebody could be trying to do magic to your fame, your success, your accolades in order to prevent growth or something from growing. But I feel like you're continuing to grow anyways. But so we have, I mean, it's a reason why you're in the nine of cups. And if this is a divine connection here, something could be blocked for you and this person until y'all come together and talk or do whatever the fuck y'all need to do. <laughs> like, I don't know. But the sun... <laughs> blocked on social media with the sun let me see what else leo energy okay six of wands reverse death card reverse scorpio here we got leo jupiter so something here has been exposed i feel like you're much happier having somebody here blocked or this is like if it's not social media you know don't take it figuratively this could be metaphorically like somebody is blocked though they're blocked from your energy field blocked from the your social media your phone or whatever you block their ass out of your energy just period um but the sun is here six of wands reverse and the death card reverse somebody is is like clout chasing they're clout hungry Okay, very, very much so a cloud chaser. Somebody that have ill intentions. So you could have blocked a whole lot of people on social media, um, Pisces. People that don't want to change their ways or don't want to transform. Or this is somebody here that won't release you, won't let you go. I feel like they've been exposed as a cloud chaser. <laughs> they've been exposed. What's the Six of Wands reversed? Yeah, the Eight of Wands. What's Six of Wands reverse? Eight of Wands. Four of Cups reverse. Cancer, Moon, Sagittarius, Mercury. So, yeah, you know, somebody... <clears throat> Four of Cups Reverse talks about seizing an opportunity, okay? Moving out of a stalemate or you're not sitting in this self-absorbed energy. It's like you're really moving on. Eight of Wands is like a positive movement forward. You are moving in a positive direction. So somebody now, I don't know, they they just being nasty. They're grouping up with a whole bunch of people to talk shit or somebody's pride and their ego is hurt. They pride, their ego is fucking hurt here because you're shining or you're happy or whatever. And I guess they wanted to use somebody for money with materialistic and that's not working. Somebody has jilted at home. They left. Somebody's not taking care of somebody ass no more. Yeah. yeah. Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah. Somebody's a user. Now they feel oppressed. This person is hella depressed. Eight of Swords in the reverse because now somebody has left their ass. But I feel like that's what the fuck they get. What's the death card in reverse? Yeah. The Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, somebody realized they were investing into someone or something that's not changing. Okay, somebody's not changing. They're not doing the soul work or whatever. So they're done. I feel like something that you're investing into is not dead. Yeah, you know, somebody's realizing where their happiness is at. Okay, that's what somebody... This could be an actual masculine. But, you know, flip the roles. Somebody is realizing where their happiness is at. With the Seven of Pentacles, that's like questioning things, second guessing. 
it's like the seven of pentacles also talks about growth and um you nurturing something yeah and a death card in reverse means something is not over so something has been exposed to somebody where something is not over with someone else or somewhere else but something is over with someone else or somewhere else so that's what's happening somebody sees someone or something as a good investment so yeah somebody's leaving someone behind but I feel like the issue with this is somebody got to get out their ego. Like this person, they need to tell you some shit. And they need... I think I got this for Pisces last night when I was on live. Oops. Hmm. <laughs> my bad so yeah somebody mad because you're moving on let's jump into conclusions in the reverse two of pentacles let's jump into conclusions in the reverse for two of pentacles. yeah somebody needs to be open to change be adaptable be flexible okay with the two of pentacles upright Capricorn, Jupiter, we got the moon reversed. Cancer, Pisces. Somebody here got a thinking problem. It's like they overthink a lot. I feel like the moon talks about self-deception. Uh, yeah. I mean, did I say I think the moon talks about self-deception? I meant to say the moon does talk about self-deception when it's in the reverse. Um, you got the moon reversed with the sun upright. So something is definitely out of balance. This could have something to do with somebody's finances. Something is just imbalanced here. Just period. <clears throat> the moon reverse talks about something being revealed. Moving away from fear, anxieties, worries, or stress. So that could be good. Something is, let's see, what's the, yeah, something has been revealed or something has came out in order for somebody to rebalance themselves. What's the two of pentacles with the moon reverse? Oh, yeah, something could have came out about somebody juggling and shit like that. I don't know. But the chariot in the reverse, cancer. Somebody's trying to weigh their options about some shit. Mm. Confirmation. <laughs> chariot reverse is like... Someone here, someone got bad trust issues is what I'm getting. They trust issues here. This person has lost a lot in another situation. And whatever this is you got for them or whatever this is they're supposed to go with you, they don't want to do this shit again. So that that's the issue right here. That's what I'm getting with this. Okay, the chariot, somebody here maybe feels like you're trying to coerce them into doing something. They don't feel safe. Like, it's something like that, but it's... It's because of what they went through or what you've been through. Somebody needs to be open, stay open, and don't jump to conclusions here. That's the problem. Okay, maybe they're not. Hopefully they're not. Um, <clears throat> I feel like this somebody is learning the difference between you and somebody else. Like, you and, you and somebody else are, yeah, the Queen of Cups reverse. <coughs> okay. Cherry reverse two is like not having a sense, like not having a sense of direction or something is out of control. What's this moon reverse? Okay, yeah, the high priestess. Some of you guys could be could have revealed a secret. There's something that you revealed to somebody or you said something that you're keeping to yourself or hiding from everybody else, but there's somebody that you somebody that you said something to for some of you. You're keeping keeping something close to your chest or some sort of hidden knowledge that you have is coming out or you're you're a high priestess, you're revealing something. Yeah, let's see. What's the moon reverse with the high priestess? Okay, yeah, the king of swords. Yeah, somebody here is doing their research. 
This king of swords could be looking into a high priestess. They're investigating a real high priestess because something has been revealed in order to create balance for you or this person or for the both of y'all asses. I don't know. But somebody here is investigating or looking into shit. Somebody's trying to find an answer to something because they're trying to weigh their options or figure some shit out. And I feel like something has been revealed. It's like somebody has been looking for something specific to be said or whatever. And it's, it's out now. So, okay. Yeah, Ace of Pentacles reverse. <clears throat> What's the Chariot reversed? Yeah, the Hierophant reverse. We got the higher priestess upright and the higher friend in the reverse. So the higher friend in the reverse is somebody that's stubborn. Okay, they, they could be very stubborn. They could be very stuck in their ways. All right, this could be also negative patterns repeating with somebody. This person could be very aloof here. Whoever this, this king of souls right here could be very aloof. Or very cold or they act like they don't give a fuck but they do this person i feel like you already know the truth about somebody somebody hiding some sort of truth but i feel like it's already been revealed or you already revealed the truth here you know something already <laughs> i feel like you know something already so i don't know but I feel like you can see the authentic version of somebody. Like, you can see through their soul. Like, I don't know if this person don't understand it or what, bro. But <clears throat> the Hierophant in the reverse, the Chariot reverse, there could be something that's out of control here with some sort of cult or coven. There could be a cult or coven here or something going on with someone's belief systems where they were easily coerced into doing something. Somebody was coerced into doing something or somebody trying to coerce somebody into doing some shit. King of Wands reverse, Six of Swords, Queen of Pentacles reverse, Eight of Swords reverse. What's the Chariot reverse with the Hierophant reverse? Somebody has two options to choose from. Yeah, the Six of Pentacles reverse. Whatever the fuck this is, is a scam. They better not do this shit or they already been scammed. Like, what the fuck? We got Taurus Moon here with the Six of Pentacles in the reverse. So that's like gift giving with strings attached or somebody here that's undervaluing somebody. Somebody that's just using somebody for their finances. Okay. Somebody is trying to kiss like ass or make up to someone in order to get them stuck or trapped into something. Something is a scam. Or somebody been scammed here. Mm. Yeah, this is like an abuse of power and authority. Somebody could also be very, very traditional. Somebody needs to be a trendsetter and change that shit. Okay, I feel like it's somebody's job to kind of like go against the norm. Societal's norms. I'm also getting somebody could be setting clear boundaries here. Somebody is setting boundaries because it's something that this person saw you say or heard you say you could actually be a high priestess. So this person is now somebody could now be rebelling or going against the grain here. They're not somebody here could be losing a job or losing a lot of money because they're not giving their money to their ass no more. Somebody's not supporting someone anymore, being generous with their money because somebody knows that someone is undervaluing them. So the trade in reverse, yeah, something has gotten out of control now because somebody got some sort of information from a high priestess. Either they got a reading done or they watching your ass as a high priestess. One or the other. <clears throat> somebody realized they've been scammed and shit by their family. I just heard family or I don't know.
Mm. Um. <clears throat> what's what's a cycle in the reverse? The King of Cups. What's cycle reversed? For some of you, <laughs> the Emperor reversed. <laughs> child please whoever this person is yeah the devil somebody is really just for some of you what i'm getting there's a fault you you're a real high priestess and there's a false uh high, high priest here this could be somebody you dated in a past life this person is trying to play on your mental to make it seem like you know they're they're actually a good person and they're not somebody is a shape-shifting punk asshole I'm getting, you could have, this King of Swords could be also Archangel Michael here. That's like protecting you from something. Your intuition is telling you something and spirit is bringing you the answers. They're revealing you some to you something. Okay, somebody is really doing some crazy ass shit behind the scenes. Okay. <clears throat> this could be to cause you to feel scatterbrained or... Somebody's attacking you, Knight of Swords Reverse. They're attacking your wealth too, your money, your prosperity, an audience that you have. They're attacking your growth right now, your abundance. Okay. And this could be a cult or somebody that's a part of one. They're trying to coerce you into doing something. Yeah, the devil and the damn six of cups. Somebody's from your past. This could be somebody you got kids with. This person is crazy as fuck. Let's see. So, this could be a father figure that's doing this shit. What's the damn king of cups here? So, this could, this king of cups, this could be a guy right here that's showing up too. You got Archangel Michael. This could be a spirit guy right here. Like, somebody's really trying to play little stupid ass games. What's this king of cups? Okay. Yeah, the Five of Pentacles in the reverse. What's King of Cups, Five of Pentacles reverse? So something is getting ready to improve. Yeah, with the Five of Pentacles in the reverse, I feel like um, your health could be improving or your money could also be improving here or getting ready to. Um, I feel like they're trying to appear, they're doing something with magic. They're trying to appear like um, they didn't do anything so you could be nice to them. Or, or it's like something spiritual that they're doing. They want you to be vulnerable or weaken your guards. They don't want you to be protected. So that way they can go come in and do whatever the fuck they're doing. But something is not going to work here. Whatever this is, Ace of Wands in the reverse is like a disappointment. This is like bad news, disappointing news here. Okay, um, a lack of passion or uh, disinterest. Somebody could be trying to cause you to feel disinterested in what you're doing or make you feel a lack of passion or a lack of energy so that way they can replenish their finances. It's something like that. And they're doing it with magic. I feel like, um, though, but something could be improving with your health or your vitality. Okay, it's something like that. Somebody could be doing sex magic or they're doing something with fire magic to replenish some shit. Okay. What, let me see. What's the... uh? Well, this is Five of Pentacles reversed. Three of Cups reversed. What's Five of Pentacles reversed? Three of Cups reversed. The Star. Yeah. <clears throat> so some of you guys... There could be somebody, too, in your energy that's getting rid of a group of friends. Somebody here is realizing that their group of friends or whoever they affiliate with is attacking you and attacking them. It's like somebody is, they needing to get rid of some shit. Three of Cups in the reverse of Star. This could be you that's seen in the public eye. I feel like because you don't want to be this person's friend no more, because you don't fuck with them, they could be bullying you here. Or there's like a lot of malicious gossip here about somebody that's shining, that's doing on their shit. Okay. There's going to be a positive outcome to a situation as well. But I feel like you just, your faith is really strong. It needs to stay strong. Keep faith. Keep hope alive. Just period. With the star. And continue to shine your light here. 
okay there's a hope or a wish or a manifestation that's coming through but you have people like trying to go against it or speaking negatively about it or whatever there's like gossiping friends or so-called friends or whatever i feel like somebody is dropping a group of people too so they can heal and something's gonna be replenished with their money or this is you but what's the ace of wands reverse Okay, yeah, the lover's in the reverse. <clears throat> I feel like, Pisces, somebody attacking the fuck out your ass because they shit all fucked up. They root chakra is blocked for sure. They trying to block yours or <clears throat> they trying to redo something here that's just not going to be redone. Just period. The lovers in the reverse is definitely like somebody that don't want to take accountability. They don't, somebody is not getting over the fact that you don't fuck with them. With the Ace of Wands reverse, you're disinterested, okay? I feel like if this person is trying to reattach a fucking cord or like do something spiritual to reattach so they can like replenish their finances, that's not going to work here. It's not working. Yeah, the King of Pentacles in the reverse, the Strength card, the Justice reverse. <clears throat> Like, what's this Emperor Reverse? <clears throat> the Five of Swords in the Reverse. What's the Emperor Reverse? Five of Swords Reverse. The Eight of Swords in the Reverse. Somebody just, there's attacks coming from everywhere, bro, because somebody is following their heart. Now, some of y'all have called on your spirit team to handle some shit here, and they come in with the quickness. For others of you, I feel like you have somebody here that really loves you, that they care about you, and they're coming towards you. Excuse me. Somebody is releasing and letting go of a connection or a group of people, and they're all attacking you and this person. Okay. Yeah. And these people are in a group. They're in a cult. So they are. Okay. Aquarius, Venus here. We got Gemini, Jupiter reversed. <clears throat> somebody find out somebody a cheater too. Somebody's a damn cheater. They're a loser. But um, anywho, Five of Swords reverses public humiliation. And somebody feels publicly humiliated or ashamed or embarrassed. Or they getting ready to get called the fuck out. This could be too where, like I said, somebody's not the father. Okay, we got the emperor reversed, the empress reversed. Mm. <clears throat> somebody here literally gave somebody the wrong information and it caused someone to, to attack you. Or it's causing a lot of people to attack you. Okay. It's a lot going on. <laughs> it's a lot going on here. A big ass plot that's just getting ready to backfire or it is already. This could be a comic couple doing this shit here. The Empress reverse, the Emperor reverse. <laughs> now this person could be pregnant. It's like an unpleasant. This person could be pregnant here. This karmic feminine to this karmic masculine, if that's the case. They're like pregnant. This empress is pregnant. Or they just really insecure. Very insecure. There's a lack of growth here. I feel like somebody is fighting to try to get you back or get back into your energy because you're the one that's growing. And this karmic feminine is mad at you. Like they mad as fuck at you. It's like, why the fuck you mad at me? You need to be mad at this lame ass nigga. And like, how the fuck you gonna be mad at me? It's something that you said. It's something you're revealing something. This person wants you to stop talking about them. Yeah, the truth. 
Because they getting bad karma. Shit, and it's not going in their favor. Yeah, because you're speaking your truth about this fucking king of wands in the reverse. Somebody from your past that you got kids with, a fucking loser. Yeah, something has came out about their ass. Seven of swords in reverse about who they are. So I feel like now they're attacking you. They're attacking your abundance, your growth, your whatever the fuck this is. Like, they're just mad. They're mad. And they're, they're being humiliated. For some of you, this person could even be going to jail. They're getting arrested or they're going to spiritual jail. I see oppression here. <laughs> Eight of swords reverse. Five of swords reverse. I just feel like that's like, this person is like, this is like some sort of revenge plot that like escalated. Somebody here did too much. <clears throat> Eight of Souls Reverse could be you coming out of um restriction, like you coming out of your head and there's going to be a peaceful resolution sh to shit that you're going through with this shit. Okay, but I feel like this person here is trying to still, they still trying to gain power and authority over the situation. Like... Child, what's the materialistic here? The temperance here with the strength card. Yeah, your energy here is being protected because somebody keep on trying to tap into it because they're trying to gain something from you and they mad. I feel like they're more so mad now because they can't gain anything. Something is not over for you. It's not ending. Seven of Pentacles with the death card reversed. Something is not over. You're actually getting ready to move forward and move out of a stalemate. So if you were stuck, you're not. <clears throat> okay they keep on trying to send you nasty energy because they mad at you calling a bitch ass out oh well bitch oh well this could be about a karmic masculine and a karmic feminine whatever the fuck this is what's the temperance so we got sagittarius leo here okay the two of wands period aries mars so planning Okay, if you're anticipating or waiting for something to balance out, it is. You're protected. You're covered. Just period. Okay, what's the what's the uh temperance with the two of wands? Four of pentacles came out sideways. It kind of like want to come out in the reverse, like. But the four of pentacles came out sideways. The judgment here, and then we have the eight of pentacles reversed. Virgo, Sun, Scorpio, Aries, Leo, Sag, Capricorn, Sun. <laughs> so yeah, I'm getting with this Four of Pentacles. Your finances are protected. Some of you guys are penny pinching, or somebody around you is, or you could be feeling like you need to hold on tight to your finances. Okay, it's something like that. This shit is getting ready to be protected because your purpose is going to be fulfilled to regardless with the judgment. This is like a test here. Whatever this is that you're going through, it's a part of your awakening process. This guy has something to do with like money. You could be learning a karmic lesson around money or finances or whatever. Some of you guys could be budgeting or saving. Okay, Eight of Pentacles in the reverse is a lack of focus or... Somebody definitely trying to ruin your reputation, but I'm getting like somebody doing a mediocre job. Somebody is not skilled at something or some of you guys could possibly need to take a class to learn something new. To balance something out here or start working on something because maybe you're not too skilled at something that you're interested in. You know, you can be interested in something, but don't have. You need to study more. OK, so you can master it. Um, I'm getting, though. <clears throat> Somebody doing something on repeat and it keep failing with the Eight of Pentacles in the reverse. Or this is you. This is you. This could be like debt. What's karmic debt or like real debt with your your money? What's the Eight of Pentacles reverse? Okay, Nine of Wands reversed. What's Eight of Pentacles reverse? Nine of Wands reverse. <clears throat> Ace of Cups reverse. Yeah. Something is not going to be a party for somebody. Something is just not going to be a fucking success. It's not. There's going to be no celebration here. I feel like with the Ace of Cups reverse, something is just unrequited. There's unrequited love here. This could definitely be like a breakup or somebody is just sad. Sad and whatever. Okay, Five of Cups in reverse. I'm getting two. Some of you guys are releasing a lot of like pain. Something here could be trying to block your sacral your sacral chakra in order for you to create, in order for you to make money with your creations, with your ideas, whatever the fuck. There's something that needs to be released here from your sacral chakra. Some of y'all need to forgive somebody. 
Forgiveness is key here with the judgment upright. The temperance, yeah, healing. <clears throat> Nine of wands in the reverse is like a stalemate. Someone could have a Sag moon. Somebody here could be planning. There could be something here that you're planning for. Somebody is saving their money to plan something, to move. You could be at a distance from someone. There could be a reconciliation coming in. Because somebody here is breaking up. I feel like somebody's working a dead end job. Like somebody really doesn't have love for this job or they don't they don't like it and they're stuck. They're at a stalemate. Yeah. Okay. I'm seeing all different kinds of stories with this shit. <clears throat> somebody needs to learn forgiveness. They need to release some sort of pain here in order to move forward. And if this is your counterpart, you could need to do the same. Because <clears throat> that could be what, what the blockage is. And with the Two of Pentacles, I feel like you and somebody are feeling the same things. So with this happening, you need to do some shadow work is what I'm getting. Yeah, the devil with the five of cups reverse. Yeah, some of y'all feel some kind of way about somebody y'all got kids with or family or... <clears throat> this could be a broken relationship, broken family, broken home. Um, This could be maybe some of y'all grew up in a dysfunctional family dynamic. Or whatever. Hmm. Ace of Cups reverses, uh, too. Yeah, it's like a lot of sadness. Okay. That could be needing to be released. Because it could be causing somebody to feel tired, drained, or at a stalemate. You know, Nine of Wands reversed. Um... But I feel like somebody breaking up too with somebody that's non-committal. So right now, I just feel like it's a it's, there needs to be a resting period here before something can actually come together or whatever. <clears throat> yeah, this is like a lot of oppressed emotions, pent up anger or feelings or sadness or something like that. And the nine of wands in reverse is, it could talk about like the last one standing or, but it could talk about like a stalemate or somebody. Yeah, that, that's like, okay. Somebody got a chip on their shoulder uh, and that's fine. We all go through shit like that where you stay mad at somebody or whatever. This could be like somebody needing to stop holding a grudge. Okay, what's the shrimp card? Justice in the reverse and the three of swords reverse. Yeah, somebody here don't want to take accountability for shit. I feel like this this person here that's that's like whoever the fuck this is right here, somebody just don't want to take accountability. I feel like you just need to be in the energy of acceptance. They're never going to take accountability because they're a fucking loser and they're a coward. Knight of Swords in the reverse, somebody's a follower, they're not a leader, they're a coward, they're always going to attack you. I feel like once you accept that this is who they are and that they will never fucking change here or if you're waiting for an apology or whatever, just don't wait anymore. Okay? Justice reverse with the Three of Swords reverse, somebody here has a lot of trauma, pain, and shit built up within them that they're just never going to release here. This person is a grudge holder. And I feel like with the Strength card, you're overcoming this person. You're overcoming having to deal with this person or you're needing the confidence and the strength to push through whatever this is. But you just need to continue to heal and move forward. Don't get distracted. Eight of Pentacles in reverse. Don't lose focus by letting this person's energy um, penetrate your, your energy. Don't take on nobody else's mess. Yeah, you just need to work on doing your own work here. Yeah, what, what's the, what's this Three of Swords reverse? Yeah, the Ten of Wands. Yeah, that's somebody else's shit, man. This they shit. You need to give them back their own energy. This they shit. This not yours to carry. 
they the ones that feel guilty for what the fuck they did. What's the justice reverse? Yeah, the Ten of Swords. Yeah, they betrayed you here. This person here really betrayed you and they don't want to see it. They want to keep attacking you or doing whatever the fuck they do. I feel like you just need to release, meditate, do a cord cutting or something like that and just let it go. Just let it go. <laughs> I feel like they're trying to reattach something. You need to do another cord cutting. <laughs> if you did one before, you need to do another one. Do a fucking another one. for Pisces. So we have Moonbeam, you are on the right path. And then we have Witchy Medicine, connect to Earth. What I say? Get grounded or work with some herbs, doing something. Okay, if you're a kitchen witch, and incorporate some herbs into your food. Put your attentions and your and your your magic into your food when you're cooking or whatever the fuck, right? But you could need some sun here. Say sun, yeah, fine balance, exactly. Mirror, mirror. The beauty you see in me is a reflection of you. So some of y'all need to do some sort of word affirmations here in the mirror. That would be really good as well. Some of y'all need to get some sun. You need to just get outside. Okay, get outside, get some air, do some self-care practices, self-love practices, or whatever. What's moon being? But you are on the right path. You know, but we all we all get a little stuck sometimes, or we, you know, we think about shit and get mad again about it. So <sighs> just stop making this person relevant, okay? Just even when you see these readings that bring them up, just try to not get re-triggered. Just see what they're doing and release it. This is You need to know what's going on so that way you can still know how to protect yourself because this person is ruthless. They're going to keep on trying to reconnect themselves, reattach themselves, refocus on your energy to make you focus on theirs. It's like they just want to stay relevant. So, But anyways, it says, if you pay attention, you will notice the universe sends you signals regarding your path and purpose. It shows you where you need to go and what you need to do. It says, if you are not excited about it, it's not the right path. Yeah, Abraham Hicks. That, that quote is by Abraham Hicks. So it says, signs you are on the right path. You feel motivated and excited. You experience deja vu. You see number sequences like 111 or 1111, 444, 1331, etc. It says, obstacles do not slow you down. You do not do things that make you uncomfortable. Resources magically appear. You are tired sometimes, but not exhausted or depleted. And you recognize your worth and see it mirrored by your environment. Mm -hmm. Sometimes not receiving a sign is in fact a sign. When you ask for a sign and do not receive one, it can mean you are not aligned with your higher purpose, dreams, or intention. So sit down and reevaluate your goals and course of action. Choose the bravest path. Mm -hmm. Oh, behind that was the sun. So I'm gonna just read that while it's here. Say, find balance. Yeah, the sun and the moon. The moon is here in the reverse. So something about your emotions. You're taking action, but with, with the moon in reverse. Something about your emotions. I'm going to read this and then look at something. But it says, life is all about harmony and balance. I mean, that's under the Empress reversed. So let's see. Life is all about harmony and balance, day and night, yin and yang, water and fire, masculinity and femininity, femininity work and rest. Balance is not a final goal, but a lifelong journey. It is an essential part of life. Balance manifests differently in everyone's life. Only you know what balance looks like for you and what you need to work on in order to obtain a balance. Are your work and relationships out of balance? What about your creativity and responsibilities? Is it health and goals that need attention? Look for the warning signs that your life has become off-centered. Are you overindulging in something? Are you constantly running out of time? Do you keep postponing your dreams? Small daily actions help bring a greater sense of balance. 
Consistency is always key. So take care of yourself, set realistic goals, remember your priorities and plan ahead, but leave some room for the unexpected moments in life. Life is a balancing act, but an incredibly beautiful one. It says life is like riding a bicycle. To keep your balance, you must keep moving. Albert Einstein. Okay, so we have a balance spell here. So if you guys are interested, here we go. <laughs> it says sit down with a pen and paper. On the first page, write a list of things that are overwhelming you and that you are overindulging in. On the second page, write what you would like to see more of in your life. When your lists are complete, review them without judgment. Try to find the good and the bad and the bad and the good. Be gentle with yourself. Recognize that everything on your list has its time and place in your life. This step is not about punishing yourself for bad habits or making a minute by minute plan to stay productive. This is about seeing things closely and clearly. It is about finding your strengths and identifying areas for growth. The next morning, do one thing from the from your second page and skip one thing from the first page. See how it feels. Adjust if necessary. Life is all about making mistakes, learning, and growing. Hmm. You're doing a good job at maintaining balance. I feel like I feel like that's the thing too. Like for those of you that are good with multitasking or you're like you're so used to doing everything on your own that you don't ask for help or it's like you're going 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 but you don't even notice that you're going 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 and there's things missing or shit all over the place like <clears throat> I just feel like you do everything by yourself so you don't realize when you actually need something because you're already good at keeping things in check or in balance it's like you know i got this i got that you're just you 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 don't notice certain things that you're doing or how it's affecting you by being that way you could be hyper independent or something oh let's read wishy medicine It say, there is no greater medicine than mother nature. She has the power to heal and rejuvenate our body and soul. She connects us to something bigger than ourselves. Being connected to her is not just important, but essential. Connecting to earth and grounding ourselves also helps us get in touch with our true self. It allows our body and mind to access our true talents, hidden power and visions. If you find yourself distracted, anxious, or daydreaming, these are signs that you are not grounded. Go outside, breathe, attune yourself to the mother's heartbeat, and take care of nature. In return, she will take care of you. <clears throat> In every walk with nature, one receives far more than he seeks. This quote was, is by John Moore, Moore, Moore year, or whatever. Muir, M-U-I-R, or Mir, maybe the U is silent, I don't know. Um, <clears throat> it's behind this tower, the Knight of Cups. So we have grounding rituals. Grounding is the practice of bringing balance back into the body through connection to mother nature. Below are some simple grounding rituals that can help you reclaim your power. I mean, your personal power, stay fully present and improve your physical and mental health. Walking around barefoot, imagining long roots extending from the soles of your feet. Gardening, I just said that, preferably with gloves, eating root vegetables, forest bathing or hiking, swimming in rivers and lakes and spending at least 15 to 30 minutes outside each day. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's time to do that. <clears throat> so it says everyone in your life, I'm reading mirror, mirror. Everyone in your life is a mirror reflecting parts of your own consciousness back to you, giving you an opportunity to really see yourself. This constant reflection is an opportunity to grow. The qualities we must admire in others are likely our own, and the qualities we dislike in others are often already present in ourselves. <clears throat> Do you look at someone sometimes and think, damn, I wish I were that kind, generous, and positive? 
you are all those things. The only reason you can see someone as kind, generous, or positive is because you already have all those qualities within you. You cannot recognize them if they were not within you. This is also the case for the qualities you dislike in others. Oftentimes, we recognize them in our friends and family because we see those qualities in ourselves. So pay attention to what is triggering you the most. Learn from your reactions, rise up and treat everyone the way you want to be treated. So it says the world is a great mirror. It reflects back to you what you are by Thomas Dreer. Okay, that's the quote by Thomas, but it's a ritual of observation and reflection. Start by observing what kind of people, relationships or qualities trigger either a positive or negative reaction in you. What annoys you? <clears throat> what inspires you? Okay. For example, if your friend is overly kind and optimistic and you find their positive nature it frustrates you, it can mean you want to become kinder and more positive but are refusing to do so. Consider why you are resisting this change in yourself. If someone treats you with disrespect, ask yourself who you treat with disrespect, whether it is a friend, a stranger, or yourself. The only reason these qualities are triggering you is because they are also yours. As long as you do not acknowledge them as your own, they will continue to frustrate you. Hmm. Owning up to them provides you with a chance to grow. So observe, dig deep, reflect, and evolve. Wow. This is a very deep reading, Pisces. Very informative. <clears throat> For those of you that have a twin here, this person could be a nonchalant or aloof or whatever. It's because they're trying to mirror back something to you and also your karmic enemy. Whoever this is that's karmic to you, that's getting on your nerves. <clears throat> okay. Hmm. <clears throat> this chariot in reverse is negative patterns on repeat now this could be the other side of yourself this could be like you lacking lacking practicality you're too much in your mind or in your in a spiritual sense like there's something you need to be practical about here okay you're experiencing a blockage and the chariot talks about hate winning over love here. Okay. Somebody is holding on to some sort of pain or resentment or some shit. Where my deck? Okay, let me see something. What's this? Um, Six of Pentacles reverse. What's this? What's Six of Pentacles reverse? Will of Fortune reverse. Yeah, delays, setbacks. And for some of you, if this is your masculine going through this, this is a divine masculine, you're going through the same thing just in different ways. Okay, so really pay attention. All right. Will of Fortune reverse, setbacks, delays here. Um, Some sort of karma. Unwelcome changes. It's a lesson here that you're not learning with the chariot, with the hierophant reverse. It's something that keeps repeating. Only you know what it is. <clears throat> Cherry reverses like not having a sense of direction. I mean, somebody could be trying to coerce you into doing something, but I don't really feel like that. I feel like this reading is about really self-reflection right now. Or they coerce you into doing some shit and now you got to get over it because what happened was happened. You made a mistake or something. This could be too, somebody living in somebody's head rent-free. Like somebody really, for some of you guys, you really need to sit with yourself and really recognize that you really just, you can't stand somebody. <laughs> like you can pretend like, oh, you know, yeah, they, they doing this and that to me. And, you know, I'm over them or whatever the case may be. But you really don't, you can't stand their ass. It's close to hatred. Some of y'all need to learn how to forgive. Forgiveness is big here. Okay, what what's this, uh... Yeah, you're giving something too much energy or too much of your time. Queen of Cups reverse, Hermit reverse is overextending yourself. Definitely could be block creativity too. This could be something about your sacral because there is some sort of shadow work that you're not doing. Queen of Cups reverse too is like trust issues. You could have trust issues here. Seven of Cups here, the devil. Yeah. 
This is deep, Pisces. What's, let me see. What's this high priestess moon in reverse? Queen of Swords. Yeah, being honest with yourself. Yeah, we got the Queen to the King of Swords. You and somebody are marrying each other. <laughs> you and somebody are marrying each other. What's the High Priestess with the Queen of Swords Moon Reverse? The Ace of Swords. Yeah, a lot of truth, clarity, honesty. Um, a breakthrough. Yeah, the moon in reverse talks about self-deception too. So you could be trying to deceive yourself or maybe you're not trying, but you are. You just are. Yeah, this is like leftover residue and pain from a breakup. Two of cups reverse, two of swords reverse. Two, two, two. Something about balance. We got two of pentacles here. So this could be leftover pain or resentment or... um. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Some of y'all are upset that somebody won't take accountability for their actions, for what they did to you. Mm. Okay, Pisces. Yeah, Six of Swords, Six of Cups. Yeah. Something needs to be cleared out. You know what needs to be cleared. <laughs> I don't even need to go no further, but this was a very deep reading. So hopefully, you know, you, you guys sit down and do this. Let me see what comes out of this uh, astrology deck. I use this deck for Virgo. I like this deck. Yeah, ownership. <laughs> This could even be like, you know, because a lot of you now, this, okay, this getting real deep. It's not going to feel good to people. But, you know, as your reader, I'm going to be real. This could even be like, maybe you did something to somebody and you felt like it was the right thing, but it really, really hurt them like horribly. Somebody keeps attacking you and they don't have a right to attack you. You know what I'm saying? Because you obviously you're not attacking them, but somebody just can't seem to let something go or get over something and they keep attacking you for it. And it could have hurt them, but you didn't pay it no mind or you just blew it off like, OK, well, you deserved it or something like that. This could be something that you're needing to sit with. It's time for you to whatever is happening right now, it's time for you to move to the next phase in your journey and you're hitting a roadblock because something needs to be purged out that you need to sit with and handle. It's something that you, for some of you, you did do something to somebody and they, it hurt them bad, even though they're the abuser or they're the ones that really, really, they're, they're, whatever you said about them was the truth, but it could have been handled with care or it's something that maybe you said they took it the wrong way or you, you said something that was really harsh or you said something in the moment that was like really, you know, in heated times. It happens, okay? I don't know. That's for somebody. And maybe you're like, oh, well, shit, well, I gotta apologize after all the shit they did to me. I'm hearing somebody say that. <laughs> Okay, it could be. I don't know. But let's see what come out. So we have Moon in the seventh house, Libra, I balance, eager for reciprocation. Affection, loves being smothered, likable, evil, I mean, even kill. Great performer, mothering, needs a sensitive partner, versatile, can't be alone, and child at heart. So it says you instinctively meet the needs of others and feel fulfilled by an equal response. But if your efforts aren't reciprocated, you feel unloved or undervalued or unvalued. So that could be something you're going through here. We have Taurus rising. Okay, somebody could have a Taurus ascendant. 
So we have stamina, tremendous staying power, passionate, possessive, collector, stubborn, lazy, resist change, <laughs> practical, farsighted, jealous, devoted, and likes fine things. Fixated beliefs and slow to react. Your calm presence is comforting to others. You're willing to follow, but resist being pushed to do something you don't want to do. Yeah, with the cherry reversed. Somebody is being pu pushed to do something they don't want to do or whatever this is. What else here? Neptune in the sixth house, Virgo, I analyze, self-sacrificing service to others. Curious, easygoing, spiritual healer, disorganized, finds daily life challenging, chaotic, witty, dedicated to serve, seeks to escape work or inspires others. You connect to God by serving others, but need to learn that self-sacrifice and self-betrayal are not required in order to be useful or worthwhile. <laughs> Some of y'all need to, you need to really, really pamper yourself, yeah. Nine of Cups is you not giving back to yourself. Some of y'all are too worried about money, too. You're worried about money, the money you're losing, or whatever. You're losing, probably losing more money because you're overworking yourself. This is self-care here that needs to be done. Yeah. So we have sun in the seventh house, Libra, I balance. Somebody could be a Libra sun. It say negotiate, harmonious relationships, balance, excellent social skills, loves to share marriage and family. I mean, loves to share marriage and family, eternally cheerful, takes challenges in stride and charming. You are highly successful in relationships due to your ability to compromise in the face of conflict. Take care not to drain yourself by overgiving. Neptune in the sixth house. So some of you guys are spiritual leaders. You do that for work. Okay. So you need to bring back balance here to your work and your play. This could be a, a need to nurture a relationship or nurture yourself, the relationship with oneself. There's a need to like really take care of your health and things like that. You're giving, you're giving out too much energy and it's not coming back. It's not, something is just not balanced. What else? Okay, Venus in the second house, Taurus. I have, so it says extravagant. This came off of Virgo, yeah. Sincere, loves beautiful things, elegant, sensual, generous, wants reciprocation, strong values, committed relationships, either value-driven or materialistic. Okay, so some of you guys are... <clears throat> that's what's coming up here you're too worried about money somebody is you form strong attachments to possessions and people and are caring and overprotective and are a caring and overprotective lover if there's something to gain you'll work hard to achieve it give me another one we have libra rising companion companionable Considerate, well-mannered, gracious, willing, second guesses decisions, elegant, sarcastic, persistent, likes nice things, enthusiastic, diplomatic, and indecisive. Your ideal romance is pleasurable and harmonious, but if it falls short, you can become critical and demanding. Find a partner who makes an effort to engage equally. Hmm. A child, I'm having epiphanies listening to this reading. Okay, this is very important. This hopefully is helpful. Hopefully, y'all get like a ding, ding, ding or something go off in your mind about some shit. Mm. <clears throat> what else? I'm about to say, damn, where's cargo? Dedicated here, Venus in the sixth house, Virgo, I analyze. Supportive, dependable, affectionate, realistic, demanding, warrior, helpful, too giving, acts of service, practical, craves appreciation, generous, and artsy. Although unlikely to give flashy gifts, you show your love through acts of service. 
You deeply appreciate the little things others take for granted. Hmm. <clears throat> Uranus in the seventh house, Libra. Unpredictable and fractured relationship patterns. High expectations, chronically single, once lover as friend. Won't take orders, detached or overattached. <laughs> Feels unsafe, eccentric liaisons. Liaisons or whatever, looking for the exit. Past or current life abandonment requires healing around the idea of what partnership means and what is a healthy level of involvement and expectation mm. i about to say uranus in the in libra in the seventh house mm. <laughs> what else we have um mercury in the 11th house aquarius i know unorthodox ideas inquisitive intelligent loves debate rational seeks new ways to do things multi one, two, three, four is on the clock. <laughs> okay. Multitask, collective ideas, sociable, get sidetracked, manipulative, and picky. So it says, you can talk about anything to anyone and have 10 ideas to their one. Vast vision, ambition, and problem solving bring success, but focus is a challenge for you. Hmm. What else? Something, go watch Virgo's reading of Pisces. It's a Mercury in the 12th house, Pisces, I believe, mystical force. Insightful, sees through you, secretive struggles to express thoughts. I mean, secretive, struggles to express thoughts. Tac tacaturn, taciturn or whatever. Listens, mind reader, <laughs> talks to spirit, spiritual insight, interprets symbols. Although prone to daydreaming and escapism, your intuition, keen sight, and independent mind make you an exceptional decision maker. <clears throat> mm. What else? So it's like, it's like, I'm, I feel like I'm pulling in like polar opposites, especially if y'all got twins. This twin flame relationship is teaching you something about yourself. If you're paying attention, like, okay. Mars in the first house, Aries, I am. It says impulsive. Dynamic, enterprising, spontaneous leader. Free-spirited, confident, fierce, I mean, fiery, inconsiderate, insensitive, endurance, hostile, initiator, forceful, competitive. New things turn you on, but you quickly lose interest, so you need excitement and drama to keep you motivated. Take care as you are accident prone. <clears throat> hmm. Child, somebody got some healing to do. What, what else? Or something. Okay, Mercury in the second house, Taurus. I have. It's a supreme entrepreneur. See the obvious. Sees the obvious, steady pace, clever, logical, pragmatic, money from trees, one-track mind, resourceful, moody, knowledge equals money, indecisive, and shy. You can be stubborn and indecisive, but your practical knowledge and resource management makes you makes you an empire builder par none. Try to be more flexible. Yeah, the two of pentacles. Something about flexibility. You can be stubborn and indecisive. But your practical knowledge and resource management makes you an empire builder par none. Try to be more flexible. <clears throat> hmm. Very interesting, Pisces. Very interesting. Hmm. <laughs> okay. So hopefully you got the message. I mean, hopefully you know what you need to work on or what you need to be working on here. Okay. Mm. 
That's all I'm saying. Mm -hmm. So anyways, this was your reading, guys. I hope it resonated. Okay, like, comment, subscribe, turn your notification bell on, press the all button so you won't miss my reads. And I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.